All right, Kyle, obviously a, a very successful trip for the Bermuda under 20s. Um, the, the plan and plot going down to Haiti, uh, you think you guys accomplished the goal that you set? Yeah, our goal was to qualify for the next round. And um, we managed to do that. You know, the first game was very crucial for us, you know, to, to win against Cayman Islands. And we managed to do that. It was a tough game for us playing at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It was, a, you know, very hot. And, and the boys were feeling it after like 70 minutes into the game. And um, the, other, the next match against Haiti, which was uh, at 6.30, it, it was a lot better for us. It was even though we lost that match, but it weren't as hot. And and yesterday, obviously playing again at at four, it was a hot hot um, conditions. But we managed to pull out the result. You know, I was telling the guys the importance of scoring more than four goals because it put us into a different bracket, a group that um, you know on paper is a little easier than. And, and we would have been in a group with Haiti again, and so we avoided them by uh, scoring more than um, six goals. Obviously, we have a lot of time, or uh, for some it'll be a long time, but you need to prepare for that next round. But a lot of these youngsters will be away in school, and how, how do you plan to manage that time of getting together before the next round? Yeah, obviously they're going to be off going back to school, some going back to England to play. Um, you know, I'm fortunate for us this round, we were out of season, so it's, it's probably a little bit more difficult. So when, when we come round for the next round, we will be in season, so everybody's fitness will be a little higher than than what it was this time. Um, you know, we gotta we gotta dig in, we gotta um, set the game plan for the next round, and hopefully, you know, we can we can do something. You you've been at the top level of national coach and now you're with these under 20s but we we seem to it seems to be a gap missing in between when we go from this group to the next group how do you plan to assure that this group maintains throughout as far as we can go in this tournament yeah i mean the important thing is that we have to stay in the competitions that's that's how we could maintain that gap if we stay in in um competitions if we go out early then it's less Less games for us, so for us to stay in, you know. And the boys know that they like after playing against um, Haiti, you know, they that's got to be the benchmark for us to try and get to that standard. I mean, Haiti was a very good team, and it was an eye opener for a few of them. We hung in there. We said that we didn't want to come out of that game with, um, you know, the goal difference being too bad and we managed to, to keep that down so that was a good thing and um, we were able to do the, the business the last game. Alright well congratulations welcome back we look forward to the next round. Thanks a lot. Well, Minister, double joy for you tonight here at the Aleph Wade International Airport where we have the successful advancing under-20 national football team and the 34 medalists swimming team yeah, right. returning. Um, bodes well for sports for our youngsters and our elite athletes to be doing so well in the region? That's right. Yeah, it's wonderful news. In fact, I was, I was very pleased. I actually was not aware that the football team was coming back tonight. So I was very pleased to be able to welcome our swimming team and our under-20 football team back from a successful campaign. And you know it's true. We have some very talented up-and-coming athletes in Bermuda. It's good to see the support that they're getting from their parents and their friends and from the community in general. So I, I just said a few words encouraging both teams. I was running back and forth, but I managed to speak to everyone, encouraging both teams to keep up the good work and stay dedicated and, and, and good things will happen. We've got the Olympics coming up. There's some good stuff happening. So let's get excited about our, our teams. They're really doing well. Uh, thank you for being here at the airport, and uh, we look forward to what we can do in Rio and, and beyond. That's right. And, and thank you for being here. 
and for uh, documenting everything. It's, it's a good night for Bermuda.